Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a QA and I know I haven't been on YouTube for a while, but trust me, the Tokyo vlogs are on the way, I swear. Today we're actually going to cover a couple of questions that you guys have asked me on Instagram, some burning ones, some really spicy ones, and we're just gonna get straight into it. Okay, so it's been a while since I've seen these questions pop up and we'll start off with the easier questions, okay? Um, first one is, are you single <laughs> and where in Singapore do you live? So number one, I'm not single. Yay! Uh, number two, where in Singapore do I live? Well, Singapore is a very small country and I think my life spans across the whole island. Like my work is in the west, you know, I stay in the east, my mom stays in the west as well, so I'm always just like constantly everywhere. The next question I have is tips on how to start working out for the shy ones. I love this question a lot and I always say the same thing, which is to grab your friends, um, you know, try something new, go to a yoga class, go to a spin class. It's always better when you start working out with friends because, you know, they have someone to kind of hold you accountable. Uh, at the same time, it'll be more fun as well because you're kind of learning the workouts for the first time and you're kind of navigating this new journey together. So always grab friends along, but uh, let's say if they're not free, I would suggest going for classes that are a little bit non-peak hours. So. A, the instructor has more time to spend with you and also for you to get comfortable in the space basically. So my next question is how long have you worked in cybersecurity? I think this year it's my fifth to sixth year already. I started when I was 21 and now I'm 26 so about five years going to six years. Um, it also leads me to the next question which is ever get overwhelmed by the things that you don't know yet in the cybersecurity space? 100% I think that um, I actually suffered a huge amount of imposter syndrome for a very long time especially coming to my current role in cybersecurity intelligence um, because of the fact that I was not at all uh, well versed in the domain so I definitely struggled a whole lot uh, when trying to get into my role for the first time uh, about a year and a half ago so I think it's very normal to get overwhelmed but I think um, it's how you deal with all the feelings right and it's how you really plan your time to understand the domain understand um, basically your subject matter and take your time to really navigate this whole new area altogether. So the next two questions is really about motivations and I really like them a lot. So the first question is how do you find the motivation and drive to work out? Uh, to be very honest I think I've told this on my Insta stories before. I really like to go for exercises that I know I will enjoy. So things like spin, I really enjoy music. Uh, things like yoga as well, I really enjoy um, getting to learn all the different poses, getting exposed by the different styles of yoga like acro, aerial and beyond. Um, and lastly also because I really enjoy strength training so it's things that I always enjoy doing. You know for some people it could be rock climbing or it could be hiking that they are really interested in and that's their form of workout. So I think it's really really important to find something that you know you can enjoy and you want to do it. Um, you know, I feel that for working out, it shouldn't be just like a BAU, a business as usual, like the tick in the box of your day. But it should be something that you should enjoy as well. It should be a fun process, right? And the second question of uh, about motivation is, do you ever feel unmotivated at times to exercise after work? And how do you overcome that? So I think uh, there are some days where I feel it's quite overwhelming. So I try my best to keep my workouts in the mornings. But if not, um, I will at least park in some time after work, like maybe 20 or 30 minutes, a really short session. It doesn't have to be something too crazy, uh, like committing to a spin class or a yoga class, but at least I'm maybe at the gym doing a bit of cardio, a bit of core workout, um, maybe a bit of arms or legs, depending on the day. And I think that as long as I get that 30, 20 to 30 minutes uh, workout in, right, I'm good. Like, I just want to, you know, be able to sweat the day out basically so I think it's not really about motivation for me I think uh, it's more so my time is rather limited so I wish I had more of the luxury of time to be able to do even more right so yeah I don't really struggle with the motivation part but it's just more of like the time allocation how do you keep energy levels up during the day such a valid question and I don't really have any tips on this uh, the only thing that I do 
religiously is that I have four shots of coffee every single day. It's so bad and I'm pretty sure it's borderline unhealthy but it gets me through the day. Uh, <laughs> also, I tend to sneak in snacks uh, in between the day or at least like a bit of fruits here and there uh, just to like spike my sugar levels kind of um, to trick my body to work even harder, I don't know. Or if it's a very busy day generally, like my energy levels will just be high throughout the day because there's like um, task A to Z to do, right? So that's fine. Um, but for days that are a little bit slower, I will just like maybe take a walk around, you know, get some fruits, um, drink more coffee, it's so bad. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of my coping mechanism for now. Maybe it's not the best advice, but it works. Okay, so the next question um, is LDR details and I feel that this is probably a good time for me to say that I want to keep this part of my life private. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with keeping things private because I just really respect our relationship a lot and I treasure the time that we spend. Uh, we put in a lot of effort into this long distance relationship. Like we spend a lot of time talking and getting to know each other, you know, even making trips out. So I really just kind of want to protect this little bubble that I'm in right now. Um, but yeah, I don't really want to share the details, but thanks for asking. Um, this leads me to the next question, which is tips on finding a partner because this girl here is single AF and she says that I'm still happy now, but you know. <laughs> and I love this because um, previously when I was single, it did feel a little bit lonely sometimes uh, because you know, sometimes you just want to share your successes and your happiness with another person, but there's no other person in that picture. So I think, um, well, I my one tip, I guess, is to date as many people and get to know what you like and what you don't like and from there um, I think you'll be able to figure out what kind of boundaries you have towards relationships and uh, if a person you know meets those boundaries at where you're at and that's really important. Next question is what's your comfort food? So I have a few comfort food. I really like Mexican food, quesadillas, uh, tacos, things like that and every single time when I'm overseas and I come back from from overseas to Singapore, right, back home. I will always crave for economical bihun, uh, which like this auntie below my house sells. It is so good every single time. The chicken always slaps. And I also really like laksa as well. I love laksa in my life. I feel like it's something that I could eat every single day for the rest of my life. Or chicken curry noodle, you know what I mean? So those are like my comfort foods. Okay, the next question is, quite interesting actually so it is what is the most important I'm assuming they meant to say thing in your life but they start the word thing but what is the most important thing in your life that's how I'm going to interpret it so right now um, I think it's actually my mental health and wanting to just wake up happy every single day doing what I'm doing uh, and just living life drama free stress free I think that's really important right now in my life and that's something I completely always prioritize right uh, with friends with family like I try and avoid um, not difficult conversations but more of like I try to avoid instances where there is unnecessary drama and I'm really like in my live love love and peace vibes uh, era so I'm kind of there in it now which I am really excited about um, and a lot more happy about and also, uh, for the interest of time, I don't want my videos to be 25 minutes long, so I'm going to wrap it up with two more questions, and it's around the same theme as well. Uh, and then we can call it a day, y'all! So, the first question is, how do you get over a breakup? Damn, I've been avoiding this question for the longest time, uh, and I think because there was only a few answers to this question, right, which was time and also to forgive yourself. So let's start with time. Um, I feel that time always heals all wounds and as you go along like you realize that you know you have choices every single day to be happy, to be sad, to uh, harp over the past or to move on. So I feel that constantly I would choose that hey you know this was the better for us, uh, this was the best decision for us, um, 
we are a lot more happier now in our lives. Uh, uh, what we tried to fix at that point in time could not be fixed 100% and that's okay, you know what I mean? Sometimes people and things just don't work out and that's fine. So I think I've just become uh, very forgiving towards myself now and I try not to blame myself so much for things that could have worked out and um, could have stayed of that like all the could have questions I kind of squashed it because I feel that that's not reality that I'm living now and that's okay so that's really like making peace with yourself and forgiving yourself along with time yeah so the final question of the day which is gonna be probably a little heavier one uh, which also linked back to my last question uh, on how do you get over a breakup is that this question says, how did you find the courage to leave a long-term relationship? And I really, really enjoy this question uh, because it talks about courage, right? And I still want to also reiterate that we were very codependent on each other and our lives were very much intermingled and intertwined. So that meant that even when we broke up, a lot of things had to uh, be untangled as well. So the courage at the beginning to leave the relationship was because it was a realization that hey you know maybe things just aren't working out um, and it might not be a good match for both of us to continue staying uh, for the better of our mental health or for the better of our lives basically so I think uh, in the end it was really it just came down to okay so I can't believe I got cut off at the worst possible time ever when I was talking about breaking up <laughs> and that whole process <laughs> But I'm back. I managed to delete some of my videos. <laughs> I think it's just so funny. Um, it's just so timely as well. But yeah, anyway, how did you find the courage to leave the relationship? I think to be very truthfully honest with you guys, um, it wasn't an deci easy decision, but it was the necessary decision. So I think at the end of it, uh, you have to really make peace with your choices that you've made and deal with the consequences that comes along with it. That's how life is, you know, and I think that was a very um, big lesson for me as well to take away from our five, almost four, almost five year relationship, right? So, yeah, um, I think main point also, we're both in a happier place and it's almost a year now, so it's, yeah, it's been a lot better. Anyways, um, that's all the questions that I have for you guys today. Actually, there were a lot more, but I think it was like more of the simpler ones. Uh, like, where are you from? Which is Singapore? You know what I mean? So I wanted to cover more of the heavier ones because I realized I haven't spoken to you guys in a very long time. But yeah, if you stayed all the way to the end, thank you so much for having me and thank you for listening to me. Uh, it would mean a lot if you could like and subscribe and even comment as well if you liked any of my responses or if you have any further questions we can do another Q&A. But thank you guys for your time. See ya. Bye.